Hello, my friends. So today we read the book, The Shape of My Heart. And we are going to do a drawing that shows what lives in your heart. Now, what do I mean by what lives in your heart? I mean the things that really matter to you, the things that you love and matter to you most. So what I would do first is use a pencil to sketch out my ideas and draw light until you get it right so that way you can erase and fix any mistakes. But just so you can see what I'm drawing, I'm gonna go straight to marker. Now thinking about what lives in my heart, I have to include a symbol that represents my daughter. So I'm gonna draw a simple symbol or shape that represents my daughter. I also want to include my son. So again, I'm going to include a simple symbol that represents my son. And this marker is getting a little bit dry, so this actually needs to go in the garbage, unfortunately. I'm gonna put this on the side so then I can toss it after because I don't want somebody else to find the dried out marker too. So I drew a symbol or a shape that represents my son. Now, what else I absolutely love is teaching. So I'm gonna draw the shape of an apple because an apple is often a symbol for teachers. I'm gonna use a brown to make the little stem and the green to make a little leaf there. Nice. I love my two pets that I have at home, Corbin and Brooks. So either I can draw a shape of a cat and a shape of a dog, or maybe I'll just draw some paw prints. What do you think? Because I love them. And I love animals in general, so I'm gonna include that in there. Now, I also absolutely, positively love art. So, hmm, I'm gonna include some paint splatters in my picture. Found another marker that's kind of drying out, so I'm gonna put that aside and toss that one as well. Let's see, I'm gonna look for some colors that I haven't used. And I'm gonna put these paint splatters all over my drawing. Because I love painting the most. If you love drawing with crayons, maybe you can do the shape of crayons in your background. Let's see here. Some paint splatters there. Hmm, what other shapes define me? What other shapes live in my heart? I've got art, teaching, my animals, my children. Ooh, I know. I love plants and I collect lots of plants. So I'm going to do the shape of a leaf. to represent all my houseplants that I love so much. There we go. And those are the shapes that live in my heart. So when you're done, we are going to talk about scissor safety and we are actually going to
cut out our heart. So there's a nice big thick line for you to follow. You are going to cut straight ahead. My scissors are pointing straight ahead. They're not pointing towards me. Uh-uh. What you do is you keep them straight ahead and you move the paper, not the scissors. You move the paper. So I'm cutting very slowly, very carefully, and my scissors stay straight ahead, and I'm moving my paper as I cut. See that? Now you're gonna stop when you go into that top divot in the heart, and I'm gonna cut along the other side, moving my paper along, be careful with those fingers. You really wanna hold the paper away from your scissors. And there's my heart. The last step is we're gonna paste this heart onto a piece of construction paper. I chose green because green is my favorite color. So I'm gonna use my glue stick, flip my heart over, take the cap off and very carefully trace the outside of my heart. Maybe just twice over, just the outside. I don't wanna go off the paper cause I'll get glue on my nice piece of construction paper. I'm gonna flip it over, put it in the middle and press it down. Beautiful. Now, on the bottom right-hand corner, I am going to write my first and last name and my grade level and the days that I have art. I cannot wait to see what shapes live in your heart.